We are walking around downtown Charleston, South Carolina, a city known for their barbecue. Two places you've probably heard of, maybe you haven't, maybe you haven't. Lewis's Barbecue and Rodney Scott Barbecue. Rodney Scott's was on that Chef's Table episode a while back, and Lewis's perhaps was too. I think it was on something. But, you know, barbecue. It's a pretty big deal out here, especially in the South. Being a guy that comes from California and barbecue out here, obviously a very big deal. Something that growing up on the West Coast, I was not really exposed to. I mean, didn't really realize. And it was my last time here a few years ago uh, after waiting three hours in line at Lewis's and then finally tasting it I understood why people wait in line for barbecue what the whole barbecue culture is and I'm very excited to go back and check out both Rodney Scott's and Lewis's again all right we're here at Rodney Scott's the smell is intoxicating you know you're here right away and I got very lucky there is absolutely zero line right now so let's check this out what's up guys is this use King Street entrance? Am I like the first one here or what? No, 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 nice kicks. Thank you so much. Yes, How you doing? Good, how are you? Doing very well, thank you. What you? I want to try everything. So what's the easiest way to do that? All the meats? Also, which meats are you most interested in? Barbecue pork, chicken, wings, brisket, ribs. Sauces here, Rodney sauce, Kathy sauce, and the other sauce. I don't know the difference. I guess we'll find out. Barbecue sauce. And I still can't get over the fact that I'm like the only one here right now. I know that's obviously gonna change. People are slowly showing up. I like kinda wanna go to like more barbecue, but it's got a lot of food, so we'll see. First things first. Chicken wing, smoked and crispy to perfection. All right, I'm really hoping you all can hear me because there's this crazy fan right above me, but we got these beautiful smoked chicken wings, smoked and fried, crispy on the outside. Oh my God, that's ridiculous. Super tender, luscious, moist. Yes, I'm using the word moist. What's wrong with the word moist? That smoke ring, perfect. Not too soft. Mm. Thank you, sir. Is this the white sauce? Yes, sir. Love it. All right, my platter is here. We did some turkey. Obviously, don't sleep on the turkey. We got the ribs, we got the pulled pork, and we got some brisket, mac and cheese, collards, coleslaw, white sauce, and obviously the wings. All right, they say the white sauce with chicken is the move. So white barbecue sauce, if you're not familiar, is like a mayo-based barbecue sauce, vinegar, spices. Think of it almost like, you know, your barbecue ranch. Also, Put your chicken bones, people. PSA. Don't be leaving any meat behind. Tangy, sweet, lovely. We got our platter here. Where to begin? They gave me two forks because this is a meal for two people, but start with the sides. I feel like the sides are sometimes like slept on, but you know, they're just as important as all the smoked meats. Matt Horn, Oakland, speaking of West Coast barbecue, right here, this guy, if you haven't been, check him out. His sides are just as good, if not, I don't wanna say better than his barbecue. Side, utmost attention, detail. Mmm, great mac and cheese. Not too stiff, nice and cheesy. Mmm, real nice. Now we get into our barbecue. We got our pulled pork starting there. I always like to fry everything without the sauce, and then we go back and add the sauce. Wow, you know what? I feel like a lot of times you get pulled pork on the West Coast at places, and it's dry. It's like not moist, or they just slather on sauce to make it juicy. Where this is very minimal seasoning, pepper, some chili flake in there, probably like, you know, their pork rub. But packer flavor, real nice. Next move, we got our ribs here that are falling apart. Mm. Oh wow, wow. Great spice, good amount of pepper on there. Love that rub, don't rub all these little flies. Excellent, and you know, I was told by a barbecue expert that ribs should not like be fall off the bone tender or they just drip out and they have a little bit of texture and chew, which I initially disagreed with, but I think that's perfect comes off just enough, but it's not falling off. Can't twist the bone out of there. Fantastic. A little bit of cold slaw here, mayo-based. Classic, shredded cabbage. You know what's nice about that? Super crisp, crunchy, not wet, not soggy. Great palate cleanser, refreshing. And we got here, our smoked turkey. You can see this beautiful pink smoke ring on the outside, great sign. You know what? People often sleep on the chicken or turkey at barbecue restaurants. They shouldn't. It's often one of the best things you could get. And let me tell you, that does not disappoint. That puts all sliced turkey in delis on sandwiches to shame. I wish that's what turkey was like on Thanksgiving. That's wild, really good. Last but not least, down the line here, we have our brisket. Not looking super tender, to believe it or not. This is definitely not the fatty end, it's the tip of the brisket. 
know what, I'll be honest, not my favorite. It's got a beautiful smoke ring, definitely maybe a little dry, not as much fat as I'd want on it. That's okay, everything can be perfect. But you can go into these barbecue sauces. I see a bunch of pepper down on the bottom of this one. Give it a good mix up. Oh, it's a wet sauce, not sticky, which I love. I wish I had something to put it in. We'll just do a little barbecue drizzle there, black pepper, vinegar. Ooh, mm, lots of vinegar. Nice vinegar-based sauce. Happy sauce. This has to go on chicken, rib, or pork. This one looks more like your tomato-based, like barbecue-y style of sauce. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's real nice. So, a nice amount of vinegar, which I think is super important when you have like a rich, heavy meal like this. Real nice. You know what I haven't tried? Collards. Collards are often like slept on too. People don't get the collards. I don't know why. Mr. Scott these collards so good you can tell a lot about chef by the way they're able to transform collard greens these are real nice and then we have our other sauce let's see what this one's all about we'll go other sauce on our, our brisket just to kind of give us you know what i just don't like that brisket not my favorite that's okay everything else pretty top here is it worth the wait if there was a wait I'd say yes. It's part of the barbecue culture. You wait, you smell, you talk. Connected with others, all through food. Last thing I need to try to do here. All right, here we go. Chicken wing challenge. 